What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. So today we are doing a Pokemon opening. We have another box of Ultra Shiny GX. At this point, I'm not even sure how many boxes we've opened on this channel. I feel like it's been a good number of them. Um, so this is a sneak peek of a majority of the cards that are going to be in featured in Hidden Fates end of summer, early fall. Super excited about this. Um, compared to other sets of sim similar similar sets like Dragon's Majesty, Shining Legends, this is definitely the one I'm the most excited for. Uh, Dragon's Majesty, to be honest, I feel like was a bit of a dud. Uh, but this one I'm like very confident it's going to be a huge success. Huge. Uh, there's going to be so many cards that are super sought after. Kind of like that shiny, shiny Charizard GX. Uh, you think Reshi's art's big? I think this one's gonna be even bigger. Uh, so we got 10 packs. This thing usually features one SSR, two SRs, and which are almost usually uh, shinies. The SSR is always a shiny, then the SR can be a gold uh, or a full art supporter. So let's get into this. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll get three SRs. And we'll see if we can't pull that shiny Charizard. As always guys, if you do want to support the channel, you can simply do so by hitting that like button down below. And uh, yeah, if you're not already a sub, definitely sub as well. We do tons of Pokemon content as well as some other TCGs as well. Alright, so let's see, we got a Dino, Slugma, a Unit Energy, Woohoo! Shiny Electrode right off the bat. So these guys are kind of textured, I'm not sure, yeah, you should be able to see it. Um, and yeah they just look amazing this one's actually pretty cool electrode usually not that interesting this guy this art does really pop and then we got a guzzlord followed by a magnazone and a, ooh tapu lele very nice hit right there i'm just gonna grab a sleeve for my ball friend electrode First SR in the bag. That's a good start, especially when we're going to looking for three of them. All right, so uh, yeah, hitting hidden fates coming <laughs> coming to a store near you soon. If you have yet to pre-order some, I definitely recommend pre-ordering it. Uh, there's a couple good places. I mentioned before the place I usually order my product is either on eBay via stores like uh, Sports and More, especially when they do have eBay sales or get on games nerds uh g-a-m-e-n-e-r-d-z uh just a very good site to get it so you do get uh for this set in the japanese variation uh they have shatter foils and every pack does come with at least a gx so here we have a jalisapod gx which is actually a pretty good cool card with the first impression attack And they're going to roll it out very similar to how they did Dragon Majesty, where they have some kind of pin collection, kind of like the Latios Latias. Um, and then I think, I can't remember what is the actual cards, but then they'll have, I think, some tins as well at, ooh, DNC Prism Star, very nice. Um, ooh, Greninja GX with the Shriken, and then a um, some kind of Rotom, Flash Rotom or something. I think they'll have some tins for Hidden Fates, and then the probably the best ratio or best pack price is going to be the ETB, the Elite Trainer Box, but that's coming, I think, almost like a month later. So not crazy about those practices, sale practices, uh, but yeah, I'm, I definitely feel like that this set is going to be super huge. If you have yet to pre-order, definitely recommend doing so. All right, let's see. We got a Cosmog. Oh, Decidueye SSR. Yeah, we're getting all the cards up really early in the opening so there you can tell it is ssr and i believe in the english that they're going to have all that alternate art so it doesn't make the cards last longer in the standard rotation they'll still be rotated out as normal let loose marshadow very nice and mount coronet so our ssr is decidui i feel like i pulled decidui very recently <laughs> so i do feel like we're getting some dupes which uh decidui is a pretty cool one Sorry, just gotta organize my sleeves real quick. And we're gonna put a perfect fit on this guy, actually. Followed by a KMC sleeve. 
you're ever curious about getting these sleeves, uh, I, in my opinion, KMC is the best as far as like bang for the buck and you get the perfect fits as well as these i use these hyper mats kmc's and they just feel really nice very nice to shuffle with if you actually do uh play anything with them and uh yeah if you need to looking for those if you want to see um where you can get them you can just check i think i have an amazon link down below all right let's keep going we're still looking for two more srs and i think i want a full art guzma let's see a gladian Fennekin, Swablu, Gabite, a Zygarde, Raikou, and a Silvalli GX. Followed by the Shadow Rare is a Cosmoam. So in English, the Hidden Face is actually also going to feature some other cards. The Japanese, they had a deck called like the Family Fun Thing, there, which will feature like a Charizard GX. And actually, I think that's one of the tins. Uh, that's probably going to be the most sought after tins. I think Game Nerds actually stopped selling it. And then the only way you can get it is you buy like all three tins. Um, and I think there's also like a Gyarados and something else. But oh, Shiny Eevee. Very nice. That's going to be a good, that's a good hit right there. And let's see, we got a baby Buzzwall, very nice. Feramosa and Zorark with trade. Such a good card right there. But uh, yeah, it's going to feature some stuff from the newest Japanese sets. Or the newer ones. Including the tag team for all three legendary birds. Uh, including the mosaic art one. Or the stained glass window one, which I think looks absolutely amazing. Definitely going to want to pick up a couple copies of that. I think um, the Elite Trainer Box will come with a promo of that tag team, but it probably won't be that alternate art. Probably that's going to be kind of like the equivalent to the Test Tube Mewtwo from Ultra or Shiny Leg Shining Legends. All right, let's see. We have Pachurisu. I, I can never remember this one. Oh yes, three SRs. We have a Altaria shiny. Man, I feel like you get a lot of Swablus in Altaria. Very nice. This is a good shiny. It's very. It's kind of like gold. Reminds me of Magikarp. And then we have a Manaphy, a Ranguru with Instruct, and Lycanroc with something glare. All right, another SR. Anytime you get three SRs in Japanese box, that is a win because uh, it doesn't happen very often. I feel like it happens less than half the time. So very good, very good box right there. All right, let's wrap up this open. We still have three more packs. A skateboard, very cool card. Frost Rotom, um, Aether, I can't remember. Rockruff, Torchic, Riolu, um, Breakson. Xerneas, Dawn Wings, the Krasma, followed by a Dunsparce. Okay, two packs left. So, but some of the uh, big shinies. So we got a Buzzwall, we got Zygarde, looks pretty cool. Lycanroc, ooh, shiny Rayquaza is awesome. A green Espeon, uh, different colored Ho-Oh, and the dark Charizard. Definitely the chase card. I'm not sure which one would be a bigger chase card, the uh, stained glass birds or Charizard himself. I think in the beginning, the stained glass birds will be probably like at going at a higher price, but I do think over time, as time passes, the Charizard will reign supreme. So we have a Blaziken and a Marshadow, followed by ooh Altaria. In case you're curious, like they are all alternate arts for the shinies. Although, ex except for the SSRs, which is kind of curious. They just changed the colors of the SSRs, but not the SRs. Which, I wonder if it would have been a bigger hit if they did it the reverse, to be honest. Alright, let's see. We got Alolan Execute. One of those supporter girls. A Sorola Froki. Cosmo. Wimpod. A Zekrom. A Dawn uh, Duskmane Necrozma. And Reshiram, followed by a Custom Catcher. All right, so this was a very successful box. We did get our three SRs. We have a, oh no, this is a Voltorb. Why did I think it was Electrode? So we do have a Voltorb. I really like that art, kind of like the different color scheme. A shiny Altaria, very nice with that gold. 
Eevee, even though Eevee always looks weird, he just looks very pale to me. Um, you gotta love any kind of Eevee, uh, and especially shiny anything is very nice, and then when you combine it with something easy like a Eevee, it's a home run. I don't think there's a Pikachu, which is interesting. And then Decidueye, very cool. So they, this is like the same art as the GX. Uh, so yeah, SSRs, they reuse the same art, but they just change the colors, where the other ones, they all are, are alternate arts for the SRs. Okay, yeah, so that's a sneak peek of what's soon to come in Hidden Fates. Uh, definitely, if you have yet to pre-order, I highly recommend you do so. I think this set is going to be huge. It's coming out right after Unified Minds. Uh, so all those things combined, it might be tough, especially if you're going to pay full retail. So definitely reserve your product today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you? What is the card that you're most excited for featured in Hidden Fates? Um, yeah, for me, it's going to be Charizard and Stain, the Stained Glass. I, those are like the, the easiest answers, but I am so pumped for the, both of those. You know we're going to be opening a bunch of stuff in order to find them. As always, guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.